Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 10. We have to find a vector in the direction of this vector which has magnitude of 8 units. Please note, we have to find a vector which is in this direction but magnitude of 8 units. So what I can do is, I can find a unit vector in this direction. And then I can multiply with 8. I'll get the answer. Correct. Let's find unit vector. So let's suppose my vector, this is my vector A, and that is 5i minus j my plus 2k. To find unit vector of A, I have to find magnitude of this. So this becomes root of 5 square, this is 25, plus minus 1 square, that is 1, plus 2 square, that is 4. Right, 1 square is minus 1 square. So this becomes root of 25 plus 126 plus 4, 30. Root 30. So my a vector is nothing but 5i minus j plus 2k, or this with cap by root 30. This is my unit vector of unit 1 or magnitude 1. So my required vector is nothing but h into a vector correct this will be some vector which is uh, having same direction of this vector a vector but magnitude will be 1 8 because 8 into 1 is 8 so this becomes 8 by root 30 into 5 i minus j plus 2 k and that is nothing but if you see 8 into 5 is 40 by root 30 i minus 8 by root 30 j cap plus 16 by root 30 k cap and this is my vector with magnitude 8 and direction seen as this guy. So finding this was not that difficult only thing is we have to think a little bit we use the same logic which we have applied which we have learned in the past few examples we know how to find unit vector we know how to uh, get a vector of magnitude of x unit by multiplying x with a unit vector and then by using all the logic which we have learned in the past few slides we have solved this question. Let's take one example we have to prove that this vectors and this vectors are collinear. So we can prove that the, the ratio of i x component y and z are same that is ratio of x and y is 2 by minus 4 if this is equal to minus 3 by 6 y component ratio and 4 by minus 8 it is right. So if you see all these are equal to minus 1 by 2. Thus I can say that they are collinear. Why? Right? Because the ratio of i component 2 by minus 4 is equal to ratio of j that is minus 3 by 6 is equal to ratio of k 4 by minus 8 and all are equal to minus 1 by 2. Thus I can say that these vectors are correlated. Or by observation you can say that this vector minus 4i, let's suppose this guy, this guy is a vector and this guy is b vector. You can say that my b vector is equal to minus 2 into i vector, uh, sorry a vector. You see, b vector is equal to minus 2. You see, this way. Correct? This guy is a vector, this guy is b vector. So, thus, with this process also, I can say that both are collinear. So, we need to find the direction cosines of this vector. The vector is i plus 2j plus 3k. For this vector, we have to find direction cosines. So if you observe, if I have some vector r with some magnitude r, I can write this guy as, as r cos alpha i plus cos beta j cap plus cos gamma k cap. Correct? This is something I can write. So you find a unit vector 
R cap will be this cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k divided by magnitude of this. This guy gets cancelled. So what you observe here is my unit vector in any direction is nothing but cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k. I hope you understand this. My any vector is nothing but my magnitude of the vector into cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k. This is one way of writing the vector. And then I found this uh, unit vector. I found this unit vector is nothing but cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k. So if I find unit vector, all these cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma is nothing but the number which are with i, j and k. So let's find unit vector for this. So if my r vector is this, my magnitude uh, of r will be nothing but root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square, right? 1 i, 2, 3 and 3. This becomes root of 1 plus 4 plus 9 that is root 40. Correct. So my unit vector will be this whole thing r vector by magnitude of r. This is nothing but i plus 2j plus 3k cap by magnitude of r that is root 40. So this becomes 1 by 14 i cap plus 2 by 14 sorry 2 by root 14 so root 14 root 14 j cap plus 3 by root 14 k cap correct if you compare these two equations both are same actually right both are same both are unit vector if you compare these two you get cos alpha is 1 by root 14 cos beta compare the j j part is 2 by root 14 and cos gamma is nothing but compare the k part 3 by root 14 and that is my answer. So what I have done, I knew that if I get this r unit vector or this i and j and k whatever it has is nothing but cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. This is cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. So I wrote this unit vector in two form. One form is cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k. This is the standard form actually, right, the standard form. And this is what I derive and I compare these two to get cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma. We have to show that this vector i plus j plus k vector is equally inclined to all the x's. To show that this vector is equally inclined to all the x's, what can we do? We can prove that if cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma, because alpha, beta and gamma are nothing but the inclination, if I have this vector, right, so this, if this some vector is there, so alpha, beta and gamma are the angles which this vector R makes with x, y and z axis, my x, y and z axis, right. So if the in inclination is equal, alpha, beta and gamma has to be equal, right, or cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma has to be equal. If we can prove that, that means they are inclined equally. So I can find cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma. So let's suppose if given that my vector A is i plus j plus k, I can find A unit vector. To find A unit vector, I have to find vector A by magnitude of. So magnitude of A is nothing but root of x square will be 1 here, 1 square y components again 1, 1 square plus z is also 1, 1 square that is root of 3. So this guy becomes i plus j plus k by root 3. This is nothing but 1 by root 3 i plus 1 by root 3 j plus 1 by root 3 k. Also in the last example I proved that a 
vector magnitude is nothing but cos alpha i cap cos beta j cap cos gamma k cap compare these two equations both are same actually right same equations both are for a vector unit vector i can say that cos alpha is 1 by root 3 cos beta is 1 by root 3 and cos gamma is 1 by root 3 so observing this i can say that alpha is cos inverse 1 by root 3 correct angle beta is also cos inverse 1 by root 3 and similarly gamma angle is also cos inverse 1 by root 3 and thus I can say that alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma why because all are equal to cos inverse 1 by root 3 and that is what I was supposed to do that the angle with which this vector a vector actually because the question says a I take a here a vector a is inclined equally to all these x, y and z x. Very simple. Again, we did exactly what we have done in the past example but in this case the tricky part was we were told that we have to find that they are equally inclined. So we have to apply in our brain a little bit and we have to find using our brain that we are looking for cos alpha, cos beta and cos alpha. Here it was not told explicitly to find cosines of this uh, vector. We use our brain to find that we are the question asked us to find the questions. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.